Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a sifter out of ordinary plastic cups. Now, before I do that, let me just say, if you're new to this channel, be sure to take a second and click on that button in the lower right hand corner of your screen so that you'll become a subscriber to the Online Jewelry Academy. Likewise, at the end of the video, be sure to like the video and share it with your friends who make jewelry. Okay, why would anybody want to make a sifter? Well, I can think of several reasons. Maybe you've dropped a bunch of small stones on the floor of your studio and you need to reorganize them. This would keep you from having to measure every single one. If you dropped your pearls, you could sift your pearls as well. And then that way you won't end up with necklaces that have a wonky look to them because the pearls are different sizes next to each other. Or maybe you're interested in making granulation or some other decorative technique that uses small metal spheres. This is a great way to sift them and get them so that you consistently use the same size sphere for your project. Well, consistency is the key point to this. When a client looks at your piece of jewelry, their eye can travel across it and immediately spot that funny one that is out of place, that one that's too big or too small. So to ensure that you didn't look like you were slacking at the bench, you can make a tool like this to ensure that every time that you place one of those little metal spheres on your granulation piece, it's the same size as the one right next door. Now, what you're going to need to make this is a collection of plastic cups. Now, you can use inexpensive ones or you can use ones that are a little bit more expensive like I did. I personally, when I put in the time into making a tool, I want to keep it around for a while. So that's why I invested in a little bit harder plastic. Now, I also numbered these and I also created a series of containers that match with them that I've also labeled. You're also going to need a permanent marker and a selection of drill bits. In this case, I used drill bits that range in size from three and a half millimeters to two millimeters. Now, if you look at one of the cups, you can see that I've marked the cup with the size of the drill bit that I used to drill all the holes at the bottom. Be sure to go slowly so that you don't melt the cup and be sure to clear away any burrs that you might create so that things don't get trapped in the burrs that are at the bottom of the cup. Now, the corresponding container that I created, if you look at it, I've put 3.0 on it. So three millimeters, but yet the cup says 2.8. Well, that's because the cup next door has drill holes that are three millimeters in diameter. So what's going to collect in the cup that comes right after it is everything that passes through these drill holes. So that's why I've recorded three millimeters on the collection container. So how do we use this device? Well, we have one cup where there's no holes drilled in the bottom. This is our collection cup. And you just stack them in order. And now you're ready to sift whatever material you have to organize. Now in this case, I've got a collection of small porcelain beads. So all I need to do is just pour them in the top. And then I just, just give the tool a little bit of a shake. And as you can see, the largest elements collect in the top cup. Likewise, the smallest elements will fall all the way to the bottom, and then I can organize them in my collection cups. I hope you like this tip. If you do, be sure and like the video. And remember, you can always find more useful tips like this one on our playlist at onlinejewelryacademy.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you'd like to support the production of a future Online Jewelry Academy video, you can do so with a contribution through patreon.com. And don't forget, we have a paid video course that's entitled Colorful Silver Jewelry. It's a comprehensive course for beginners that virtually teaches you everything that you need to know in order to start making jewelry. Thanks for watching.